Hi guys! Today I'm gonna show you two simple techniques on how to draw a cute character or a cute profile avatar illustration. If you're struggling in sketching, today's tips are gonna help you have a basic idea of how to start a portrait drawing. From my experience, drawing a cute character involves two straightforward techniques. The first one is positioning the nose and mouth nearer to the eyes, especially the nose. Here you can tell that the face on the left is slightly cuter than the one on the right. And more examples are here. So simply positioning the nose nearer to the eyes can make the face look cuter. And then the next technique I'm gonna share is large head with smaller body. I'm gonna draw a regular portrait. And then duplicate this one and make it cuter. What I'm gonna do is size down the body. It's pretty obvious that the right one is already cuter. But to make it even more obvious, let me reduce the body size a little bit more. You can tell that the one on the right is so much cuter than the one on the left. These techniques are very simple to follow. You should be able to apply these to a lot of projects. I did this sketch following those two techniques. You can see that the nose is really near the eyes. Also, the body is much smaller than the head. And I'm planning to paint it in a watercolor style. So the first thing I did was adding a watercolor paper texture to the canvas as a top layer and change the mode of the layer to darker color. Any white paper texture works, just find one online. I'm sure you can find a whole bunch online. Now let's get started. Add a new layer for the face. Move this layer under the sketch layer because I don't want the coloring covers up the character outline. Then pick a pinkish color for the skin. The brush I use is Old Beach under Artistic. Paint over the face and neck area. Don't worry too much if the color goes beyond the outlines. To fix this, I'm gonna use the freehand select tool to outline the face area. Inverted it and then remove any excess color by selecting clear on that layer. Now we do the same thing for the hair. Select a brown color and paint over the hair area. Make sure it's in its own layer. Then we paint the clothes. We do the inner shirt first and then the jacket. Similarly, each of them should be in its own layer. Now it's all done, lower down the opacity of the sketch layer to see if there's any gap between those color blocks. If there is any, use liquify tool to fix the gaps. Now I'm gonna draw the eyes. Add a new layer, choose a dark color, use an outlining brush. And then we start to draw out the eyes. Add the eyelashes. 
eyebrows, the nose, and the mouth. And fix the details whenever you need to. Time to put on some blush on her face. Add a new layer on top of the face layer and select a clipping mask so that the coloring in this layer won't go off of the face. Select a red color. Oh, and I forgot to change the mode of this layer to multiply. Use the old beach brush that I used earlier. Now put on some blush and also put some on the ear too. Then use the airbrush to smooth out the edges of the blush. Later I found out that the smudge tool is better so I use that instead. Adjust the color a little bit more to make it more natural. I'm gonna add some details. Start from the t-shirt. Add a new layer on top of the t-shirt layer. Select clipping mask. Choose a darker color and use the brush Little Pine under drawing. Draw some details on the t-shirt. Now after it's done, we we'll combine this layer and the other t-shirt layer together by pinching them together. Same for the jacket. After it's done, combine those two layers as well. We haven't gotten into the earrings, so add a new layer, use a dark color for the stud, and a yellowish white color for the hoops. Make sure do not outline the whole thing with solid lines. Leave some gaps in the lines so that the hoops look shiny. Now add details for the hair using the same method. Then combine the face layers. Now is the last step, which is adjusting the colors for the light. Let's say the light is coming from the top, so the bottom part of the hair should be darker. Use the freehand select tool to circle out the area you want to adjust. Add a little bit of feather effect and adjust the brightness, hue, and the saturation. And I think this looks good now. Similarly, we also need to lighten the top part of the head and darken the neck area and the bottom part of the clothes. Add a few details for final touches. And it's done. Hope you enjoyed this video. The techniques that I shared today are very simple to follow. Go try them out and share your drawings in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button. See you in the next video. Bye!